it is two days to the 95th Academy Awards, Hollywood's biggest night in film, where we will see the creme of the crop from Hollywood and beyond grace what has now become the white carpet. Now, in usual Oscar fashion, we would see a glorious red carpet, you know, against the beautiful sunlight. But this year, the Academy has thought to do things rather differently, giving us a creme carpet and giving us a beautiful red drape. The big question is why? Well, as we try to figure out why this is, as well as just look through what to expect for the Oscars 2023, where host Jimmy Kimmel will be live. It's important to note he actually helped roll out the carpet. I mean, this carpet is so beautiful. Wait, it's a remnant. We got it for um, a very good price downtown. Now we're here at the Hollywood Walk of Fame where we would find various stars who have been recognized for their contributions to the world of entertainment with these beautiful stars. However, of course, you will find Angela Bassett's star who is one of the major nominees for this year's Academy Awards. In fact, this is a history-making nomination as the first star nominated in a Black Panther or a Marvel film. Now what you will find is Angela Bassett, but you can see across her last name, is an offensive slang term, P13. You might want to Google what that means, an incredibly offensive black term. Now, for a year where you have a black woman who has been celebrated for her beautiful work and her amazing contribution to the world of film, this is a history-making one, not only for Angela Bassett, but for black people. Well, there are so many nominees amongst these stars. But the truth is, even those who don't get to win still go home with very interesting goodies. <laughs> so this is our 21st year putting together this particular gift bag. We call it Everyone Wins. It goes to the nominees in the top acting and directing categories. That's 26 people this year. We have about five dozen items in their gift bag. It's actually suitcases. We deliver this in rolling suitcases. This year, one of the suitcases from Javiana's, bright and colorful little burst of summertime. And it's just such a fun consolation prize, if you will. Most of these folks are not gonna go home a winner on Sunday. And so even if they don't, they've got $126,000 worth of consolation swag. And that includes a luxury stay in Italy, lots of luxury skincare products and even Japanese milk bread. Now, there's also a plot of land in Australia. It is important to note that this is aimed at conserving nature and the environment. And after the glitz and glam of the red carpet, the show officially begins. Now, these stairs lead up to the Dolby Theatre where the show actually happens. The biggest stars in film and television have walked these stairs. Queen Latifah, Anne Hathaway, Glenn Close, Meryl Streep, just name it, they've walked these stairs. Well, away from the stairs, another major part of the Oscars that every single person looks forward to is the Governor's Ball. Now, this, of course, happens just immediately after the Oscars in the hall right behind me. Now, this is a very special event. It's reserved for award winners and some special guests. Now, what's most interesting about this event is the fact that, as usual, it is catered to by Chef Wolfgang Park. Now, this year is significantly different because he intends to add some very interesting choices, such as his English trifle, as well as fish and chips to the very traditional menu. This is the 29 year since we do the Governor's Ball the Oscar party and I think it's always fun it's always something new just like the mu uh, movie world you know they always have new movies out so we make new dishes but also some traditional you know we make for years now our smoked salmon Oscars with caviar and we make the chicken pot pie with black truffles and we make always different kind of anilotes. The fever is building here in Hollywood as fans await the biggest stars in film and television for the 95th Academy Academy Awards. Now, just to show you how interested some fans are, we actually met one super fan. Oh, my favorite moments? Well, like uh, Halle Berry announcing the first uh, black woman to win the Oscar and how it's just all these uh, memorable moments. There's so many of them. <laughs> now that is definitely a super fan. Well, here at Arise News, we will be in Hollywood all week, bringing you all the deets from the Academy Awards, the 95th Academy Awards, which takes place this Sunday. Of course, we cannot wait to see. Keep watching, we'll be right back.